As I drove through the ancient, mist-shrouded highlands of Scotland, my journey into its enigmatic north coast felt like chanting a spell from the pages of an ancient grimoire, hidden by the veil of time and history. The rugged terrain and looming castles that greeted me in silence along the way began to reveal secrets of the past, somehow now unbound from their covenant of secrecy. And with every step, I found myself drawn deeper into the mystic legacy of the Knights Templar and the legendary clans of Caithness. Yet, this was more than a quest for historical revelations. It had been a profound voyage of self-discovery from the very start of the trip, leading into doors that until now had remained unopened for me. The breathtaking scenery and the echoes of a bygone era ignited a cathartic transformation, forging an unbreakable link between the Templars, the clans, and my own ancestral roots. In the heart of the Scottish Highlands, I found a connection that transcended time and space, weaving a tapestry of secrets, history, and a profound journey of the soul. The Pentland Firth, a treacherous stretch of water, serves as a backdrop to the story. The Sinclair family, often associated with the Knights Templar and Freemasonry, built their castles here, and their presence still haunts these shores. And as I stood amidst the haunting ruins of the past, I sensed an ethereal connection to the energies and landscapes that birthed the legendary opening the saga. The quietude of the highlands seemed to speak of secrets hidden in stone, in whispers carried by winds and guarded by waves, echoing the mysteries of the Knights Templar and the ancestral tale of their northern ancestors.